Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Girl Fanelungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanelungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping us a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0 where we drop weekly content and you can hit the subscribe and enjoy. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. We've got a Patreon and you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. We're very grateful to everyone that has subscribed to our channel, keeps on liking, watching, sharing, whatever the case is that you guys are doing, we are very, very appreciative. And thank you very much. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to something for some reason. I don't know where the title went, but yeah. So a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Without wasting time, let's get into the video. Yes, ma'am. The question was, <laughs> when do the women come to pray? See the obligation to pray as well as every other religious obligation which is incumbent upon the man is also incumbent upon the woman. But there is what is called a segregation of the sexes in Islam. Men and women are not allowed to freely intermingle. So in the absence of a separate facility, they pray at home. There are certain mosques which have certain separate facilities, like this particular one here. Unfortunately, you know, the way from the very beginning it was built, it didn't have that facility. But now, the free intermingling is that which is not allowed. Otherwise, everything the man does, the woman must do. Fasting, prayer, going on a pilgrimage, giving charity, whatever the man does, the woman must do the same. But now, you might not have had the chance of coming through that section there where we make ablution. So you might have come in straight in there. That other side, you saw the cats there, the seats there. Going out time, you can have a look. So the men and the women must go through the same process. And imagine you must be you making your attention there. And I'm waiting for my turn. Because at prayer time there's always a queue behind every time. Because there's certain fixed times and everybody tries to make it, you know, as short as possible, how to get it quickly to fit into the time slot. So you making your evolution and I'm waiting for my turn. For example. And I can assure you, madam, that as old as I am, <laughs> I see the lady, you know, sitting there, we have dresses around, you know, the nape of the neck, lifting up her legs, washing her feet. I said, you know, number one, you won't feel comfortable. With a man sitting on your right hand side and a man sitting on your left hand side, and some place, man sitting across there, you're lifting up your legs and washing your feet, you might be wearing a hot pant, you know, you won't, you won't be at ease. <laughs> then, there's a man sitting on your right hand, the man sitting on your left hand side, and there's a guy waiting from behind, you know, he's watching, say, lovely tresses this lady has got, what lovely arms she's got. This is man, any man. <laughs> Unless he's a lunatic, or something else is wrong with him. <laughs> Look, this is how God made man. Then you might have witnessed as in prayer, everybody standing shoulder to shoulder. Because the Holy Prophet Muhammad, he said, that when you stand up for prayer, you must not leave gaps for the devil to get in between you and your brother. Now the devil that he was talking about was not the guy we see in the art gallery, museum complex, you know, city hall. You go upstairs, second floor there, and you see the paintings by great artists. There is one huge painting there of a beautiful woman, well proportioned with wings. She's got a wand in her hand. She's directing the devil to go to hell, and you can see the devil flying off. In the picture, you can show all that. Hellfire in the distance, and the devil is flying off. And this devil has got ruddy complexion, red, red, red. He's got horns, he's got sharp ears, he's got a tail with a barbed hook. <laughs> it's worth seeing. Some great artist has done that job. I said, now you know, a devil like that, if you saw it, you run for dear life. <laughs> me too, me too. Muhammad wasn't talking about that. He was talking about you, yourself, we, ourselves. He says, you see, I'm white, he's black. I'm rich, he's poor. That devil must not be allowed to come in between you and your brother. So he said, shoulder to shoulder. My brother can't get away from me and I can't get away from him. But instead of my brother, you, my sister, standing next to me. And I said, Allah Akbar. So Allah is the greatest. But nice, cushy feeling. Nice and warm. 
I'm wondering whether she's not the greatest. <laughs> now this is the human mind, how it works. Then we stand rows and rows behind each other, as you have seen, rows and rows behind. And my sister, she's standing in front of me there, in the row, and I'm behind her, I so, say, Allahu Akbar. I so, Allah is the greatest. This is 36, 24, 36. <laughs> This is man, any man, unless he's a lunatic or there's something else wrong with him. <laughs> this is how God made man. You know, the thing that allures him most on this earthly existence is woman. And I don't have to prove it to the Westerner. To you people, I don't have to prove it. You know it, this weakness of man, and your people are using it to the limit. Look, Lucian Motors. Smith Street Durban, they sell, they sell second in trucks. But on the trucks that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the truck. <laughs> then G North, they move from Field Street to North Dean. G North, they sell second hand truck, uh, 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 tractors. They sell tractors. And on the tractor that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the tractor. I'm asking, what has a woman in the bikini got to do with a second hand truck or with a tractor? <laughs> Except the man. You see, he'll be enticed to read that advert because of that woman. And then BMW has beaten the lot. BMW. Is a motor car supposed to be a little better than the Mercedes Benz? I'm not in the market for it. I had four Beatles, you know I spoke about Beatles. Four Beatles motor cars one after another. And then they did away with the Beatles, I, had, I was forced to buy a Golf. I'm still not in the market for a BMW. But a BMW Edward in our daily news attracted me. What's the Edward? BMW, illustration of a beautiful BMW motor car. In front of the motor car, there's a woman in the skimpiest bikini, what you call the tanga, the G-string. <laughs> and she's standing in a lustful, enticing pose. <laughs> and at the bottom is written, test drive her now. <laughs> Who? Who? The woman of the car. She's barring the car. No, the bar car. So what are you doing to your women folk? You see the westerner, he sells his mother, he sells his wife, he sells his daughter, he sells his sister, everything is for sale. To him anything, his wife is a star. You know he's proud, his wife is a star. She's being you know, bruised on the screen, the guy is simulating sex with her on the screen and he can enjoy saying so my wife is a star. So what has happened to you? You have sense of values. Your mother is a star, your daughter is a star. This is the Holy Prophet Muhammad, he said that women, they are your mothers and your sisters and your daughters and your aunts. They are to be loved, respected, cherished and protected. They are not for sale. So, according to our system, this free intermingling is a thing that is not allowed. But if there is a separate facility, like in the Grey Street Mosque now in Durban, they have a separate facility, separate entrance, separate place for ablution. Everything is separate. They are in the mosque and yet out of the mosque, allowed. Only the free intermingling is not permitted now. But the obligation is on the man as well as the woman to pray. Like a very funny and interesting video. I guess I love Amit did that because he always explains something in such a way that you can't even deny it. You really want to agree with everything he said. And this is me now totally agree with what you were saying. Sometimes to not admire the opposite sex, maybe we should be are separated because um we lose focus of maybe what we're going to do maybe we went to pray but then because there's someone handsome sitting next to me my focus would be on the guy next to me and not what um not my prayer or maybe god otherwise this was very very interesting let me know what you guys think what you have to say about amid did that and the topic of um women and men being separated during prayer or in the mosque or whichever place it is and your comments are always like welcome make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video